Hi everyone and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Oh, this is week 29 in my crossword uh, puzzle collage challenge. So the hashtag is 2023CW4 crossword collage. So if you're participating, um, go ahead and use that hashtag, especially if you're on Instagram, and then I will be able to see your work. Oh, so this is bringing us into the new year. And I want to wish everyone a very happy new year. Um, and it's saying here, wishing you a happy new year. So I thought this would just be kind of fun. I've got these two gals here. Um, just something simple. And I want to make a pocket on this side here. Uh, because I want to be able to maybe, you know, make a tag or write something. Put some things in on this side. So I purposely tried to fit all my writing over here. I have a, I have this image here and I don't know if I can find it because my desk is a mess. Um, oh, I know where it is. It's in my printer. I have this beautiful postcard um, that was my Aunt Emma's and I should do a show and tell of all of my beautiful, beautiful postcards that um, my dad kept this Miss Emma Van Tassel, um, yours for a happy new year, M-A-B. I have no idea who that is, but this has to be, I don't know, 19, all I see is December 30th, but maybe 19, um, 15, 19, 19, I, I'm not sure, um, but I just adore this postcard. I just love it. I love the image. It says, a new year greeting. Um, looks like she's in some sort of coach that she's just she's got her little bonnet on here. But I really, I could have used this, but I don't want to. I like to do something else with these postcards. Um, and I just, I didn't want to put it in this book here. So I, I made a copy of it. It's not the best copy, but it will do. And then I have these papers here, which I will not be using the top of that. I will be using the top of this one because um, for New Year's, it just reminds me of something that would be decorated in a ballroom. Um, and I can just imagine twinkly lights and people dancing um, underneath this and bringing in the new year to old Ang Syne. And then I have some scrap paper here. I've got my two gals. Um, I'll probably most likely take her her legs off here because they look a little odd. But I've got these two gals that are in their their gowns and their their um, fancy fancy evening dresses. So I'm basically going to be decorating this side of the page here. Um, so I want to get started with this. And I do wish everyone a very, um, a wonderful 2024. It, um, I'm hoping that this year there's a lot of... Um, love and um, understanding and just I'm just just praying that it's a much kinder um, year in so many different ways all right so I have that there and then um, I want to put this on here like so. And I'm going to need to cover up that California. So I was thinking, I don't know if this is going to be wide enough, and I think it, it may be. And I don't think I could match it up, try to match it up like wallpaper, but I don't think that's going to, I don't think that's going to happen. And I can put that one right there like that. So I think I'll do that. We'll get that down. Oh, 
and I want to thank everybody for coming and sitting around my craft table with me today. Um, I hope that the holidays were good to you. I hope you're, whenever you're watching this, I hope you're all rested up. I hope you have a lot of new ideas. Um, if you are a crafter, what you're going to do in 24. If you're going to take on anything new or if you have a lot of projects that you want to finish. Um, it's always nice to start with a clean slate and um, you know just have some new things to look forward to. And I think what I'd like to do is um, get a video done of what my, what I'd like to do this year, what my plans are, and then that way you can kind of plan. Um, you know, you'll know what, what to expect at my channel. I'm going to change things up a little bit. I have to think about it. Um, and I think you'll like what I'm going to do this year. Um, so, yeah, I, I just don't know. I love how uh, when Biddy Penny does her videos of, you know, look all that, you know, look at everything that I did, you know, the whole month of November or... <laughs> Oh, I feel like I have a sneeze coming on. Sorry about that. Um, you know, and all that she has accomplished. And I I just, I like that. Um, because sometimes you look back and you're like, what did I do for the month? You know, what did I, what did I offer up and what did I complete? Um, so I think that's a really cool thing to do too. But I just think in all fairness, I, I like to tell, I'd like to, you know, tell all of my subscribers and if you're new to my channel, what you can expect in 24 um, I'd like to use this here on this side as well, but I'm going to get, I got to figure out how my layout is going to be. I'm going to just set these over here. Um, I know I have to grab some washi tape because this is, oh, I have it right here because it is a new year's. I thought this would be, this striped would be fun to use and I'd like to use a little bit more gold. Um, so I'm just checking. This might be too, that might be too harsh. That might be too much. Oh, let's see. Um, I have this here. This might be kind of fun. I know it looks a little dark, but I think once I unravel it, it's not that dark. And of course, I have my some polka dots. So let's let's just work with that. I have some other really pretty stuff in with my Christmas ephemera, but I think maybe we'll just try to work with these. Um, so this was an extra scrap that I had, and I just folded this. It's vellum. And I want to use this as my pocket here. So I'm going to have a pocket um, in here. And then I'll have another little pocket right in here that I can either add photos or whatever. Um, so I thought, and I don't care. And then the other thing I wanted to do was this is the other side. This is the opposite side of this. And um, I would really like to use this as a writing because I don't have much to write or journal on on this one here. 
Um, now I could also do it, let me just see something. No. I'd have to think, if Carol Laws was doing this, she would be able to figure this out. Um, I'd like to have that come across here, but see, my brain doesn't work like Carol's. But she would find a way to fold this. Um, unless you fold it a couple different times or different ways. Maybe if you fold it up, let's just play with this a minute. And then you fold it down again. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, well, that's okay. Um, see, I'd want it to come out. Maybe I should do it like this. Fold it this way first. I'm not that good at folding either, making a straight line here. So I want this to come like down about like here. So yeah, I'd have to go like that, but then I just can't get, um, unless I just do it like this and I cut the dang thing off. I mean, I could do that as well. Have that, or I fold it back like this. There, I think that, I think that will be just fine. All right, let me glue this here. this down and it's okay that I'm I have a little bit extra on top because if I do put photos in here or whatever it's just a little extra security there. all right okay so that worked out good all right then I can put that Right about there. I want it over. Sorry about that, Chief. Um, now, I obviously won't have to have all of this here, so I really only need a little piece, maybe to put here. But my idea is to have this here like this. And then I want to put this over this here. So I know I want to do that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down. Um, glue it on the bottom. Because I don't know what to do. I'm going to think about this for the side. this down here. Am I in camera? I hope I'm in camera. Yeah. Okay, so that is glued there. Okay. We have that. I have a nice cup of hot, warm, it's warm now, it was hot before, apple cider, so, okay. So I have that like that, okay. Um, and I don't really wanna, 
I don't really want to block that off there. I think maybe what I might do is I could add a little bit here. Then I'd like to run some washi tape around there. So uh, let's see. And I'm not. I'm just going to try to eyeball it. Um, so I'm going to make a little mark right there. We'll cut that. lost my mark. Oh no, I see it. I was looking more towards the end. Oh, come on, Barbie. Right here, right in that petal. Goodness gracious. I think I'm going to go with the more of the yellow side here. And then we will just make a little mark here whoops right there and we'll put that right there okay so that will go there like that so I guess I can get this down now because I'm really not going to put anything else underneath that That'll be a, not going to do the top because I want that to be a pocket if I want to slide something down in there, okay? And I'm not going to do this yet because I have to wait. Um, Okay, so now I have a pocket here, here, got that glued down. So I can write something here and then still put, maybe if I get a card or something, I can slip it in there. Then I have um, this here where I will glue this down. So we have this pocket now, there. And I will get this down first. I'll get that on there like that. So we have that on there. And I'm going to add some washi. I just have to decide if I'm going to add the washi. Um, on top of this or next to it. All right, let me get this side done over here like this. And I know I want to put... I thought I'd put this sweet little image here and um, let's see, put her like this, maybe here like that, or I don't really want to cover up. I'd be covering up her arm. So I think I will put her on this side here. So let's get this down. Okay. She is there. And I'm not going to cut her arm out because I am not going to cut her arm out. 
think I'll put her there like that. Did I just say I was going to have her? Yeah, because of her arm here. Um, I'm going to take her legs off. I'm just going to have her in her skirt. Her like this. Come on. Um, like that, maybe. I guess it's okay that that way, at least this way here, you can see her arm like that because I, I really want to see this down the side here so I think what I will do is I will get her I'll get her on there like that or I could put her like this down here And then she's more, <sighs> I could put him. I think maybe I'll do it like that. I think that's better. All right, let me get this down where there's no, <laughs> No more uh, doubts here. And I'm just going to snip this. This is, looks like she's got a very pointy elbow. We don't want that. Okay. All right, that's good. Okay, we'll get them down. We'll get these two women these little party goers down. I remember when um, all of our friends, most of our friends, they've retired, they've moved to Florida, they've moved to the Carolinas. So I feel like we don't have friends anymore. <laughs> um, but when we were in our 20s, 30s, 40s, and even early 50s, for me, my husband, was, he's a little bit older than me, but um, we had four sets of friends, and we, we did everything together, went everywhere together. We vacationed, and but we, we would go um, to New Year's Eve balls. Um, we're close. We live very close to the Sagamore Hotel. And they were always having um, parties different times of the year. And we would get all dressed up. My husband would wear his tux. And I always had a, a nice evening dress, short and long. We all we all went. It was big, always a big dinner dance. And it was a lot of times, um, you know, we were close as well to Double H Hole in the Woods. That was started by... Um, a gentleman by the name of Charlie Wood, Charles Wood, and he later took on his a partner down the road who was Paul Newman, the actor. And Double H Hole in the Woods um, is a camp for disabled children, and they come for the summer. Um, and if they're if you're in a wheelchair, they teach you how to ski um, in your wheelchair, and it, it's a fabulous place. Um. And they would have big fundraising balls and dinners for um, Hole in the Woods. And we would go to those. And it was I'd go get my hair done in these, you know, fancy twists. And, it oh, it was so much fun. But 
once our friends moved away, um, that has stopped. We don't, and to be honest with you, I don't even know if they have the, the fundraising balls anymore. Um, but it was always so much fun to go to those. They'd have New Year's parties and it was just good times. Good times that um, it's funny how you can, you know, be such good friends with people for years. And I mean, like, I'm talking 30, 40 years, 30 years. Um, and then they move, they move away. Um, and you just, you don't see them again. One of the couples, they ended up getting divorced and she remarried and nobody ever heard from her again. Um, she gave all of us up and she made a whole bunch of new friends, probably friends from her, her new husband. You know, I don't know if it was her that gave everybody up or if he told her he didn't want really hanging out with any of us anymore. Um, yeah, and it, it's just, it's sad. Um, but, you know, I have memories. I have photos. And it's funny because my boys, um, you know, every time I turn around, they're like, Mom, you know so many people. I'm like, well, you know what, Michael? I had a life. I had a big life before you guys were born. I mean... I tell him, I remind him, I said, your father and I were married for 14 years before, before I had you. Um, and it's hard for them to wrap their head around that, you know, we were cool. <laughs> and we, you know, we, we had a lot of friends. Um, But, you know, that, that's just what happens. My, my mom and dad had a lot of friends. They did a lot of things when I was growing up. And then as people aged or they moved away, you know, some of their friends went to Florida. Um, and, yeah, it's just, it's a totally different, it's, a, it's, it's like having two lives. Um, you know, it's just a different chapter. It's a, it's a new chapter in your book. Sometimes the chapters are good and sometimes the chapters aren't so good. But, you know, the friends I have now are dear to me, very dear to me. And I, I never take friendship for granted because um, things can change so quickly. Let's see, I would like to use a little bit of this. Maybe I'll run this down this side. And I don't think I'm going to go all the way up. I think I'm going to start here. I know sometimes my husband will say, you know, I don't have any friends anymore. I mean, he's got, he's got a best friend and we have, you know, our other couple friends. Um, but it was hard for him too, because he lost all his tennis partners and everyone that he used to play tennis with, they all, when they retired, they all left Dodge. They all moved South and um, that was the end of it. So it's, I now understand why my mom and dad didn't have friends long at last. You know, it's not that they, they didn't have, they had them, but things just, life changes. All right, I'd like to put a little something here, either a, 
a flower or just something pretty um, in this little corner here. So let's see if I can find something to cut. Um, or even I have these little I have these little vellum pieces that maybe I could put something along there. And I don't think there's any flowers for maybe I could do something green, greenish. This is this is really pretty, that one there. Definitely don't want red. Oh, this one's pretty as well. I think I like this one a little bit more. Yeah. So I'm just going to rip this just a little bit here. And I'll rip this here just a little bit. Just to kind of make that fit there. And I think I'll put that, maybe I'll just move, I'll put it right here like that. There. I think that will be, I'm going to put it here. I think that will be good. And then I still have room uh, to tuck something down inside here. And then I have a tuck spot here. And then I have, um, if I want to put photos in here, and then I have a nice place to write on. So we're going to put this here, and then we'll be all set. There, there, there. So that is it for this week. Um, wishing you a happy new year, which I truly, sincerely do. I hope 24 is wonderful, um, full of love, friendship, um, creativity, no stress, and um, only the best for all of you. So I want to thank everyone for joining in. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Um, go ahead and click that little notification bell so you know when there is a new video up. And I will see you down the road. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.